Hey guys, Scott Smith, Rusnak BMW. Just wanted to show you this awesome, brand new 2015 new body style X6. This one's your 3.5 model. It's the turbocharged twin power six cylinder, 300 horsepower, 295 foot pounds of torque, zero to 60 with BMW at six seconds. Okay, this one's got your M Sport package. So you've got a completely modified front rear bumper some awesome 20 inch wheels so you can see it's got the new halos this one has the standard xenon headlights they are by xenon and adaptive outside light will turn up to 15 degrees when you go into turns this one's in the space gray metallic uh, car weighs 4750 curb weight just under 194 inches long and you've got 8.3 inches of clearance in case you need to roll over a boulder or something. <laughs> Let's do some rev time. Wow. <laughs> so that is your six cylinder model there. Not too bad. All right. All right, Trish. Yeah, let's check out the inside with Trish here. Hi guys. How's it going? Good. <laughs> so how about the seats? You know, this particular model has um, the 20-way contour seating. Um, I like to uh, have the back of it really grab the uh, back of my... Um, your sides? Back. Yeah, but, definitely for stability. Um, yeah, and you really have it hug your body for those turns when you're going through the canyons or doing a performance drive. What do you think about the uh, steering wheel? You know, the steering wheel on this um, has an apple leather. It's very, very plush. Um, it has these ridges on the sides for good grip and stability. Oh, the uh, navigation, I know that was something that they uh, upgraded, isn't it? Yes, um, this particular navigation is over 10 inches, really, really fast processor. Um, the graphics are just amazing, they're really clear, um, and you know, traffic information is all updated every three minutes. It's really oh, nice, really I didn't know that, every yeah. three minutes. Yeah. And what about the heads-up display? Oh my goodness, the heads-up display, um, it shows you all kinds of things. Um, it shows you directions when you're using your navigation, um, posted speed limit in the area that you're driving through, as well as your speed limit that you're going. Um, it will also show you radio stations, radio stations yeah. um, all of that good stuff, everything that you need. Cool, let's see, and how tall are you, Trish? I'm 5'9 without the heels. Cool, come on, let's see what kind of space, see if yes. you're comfortable in the back. Yeah. So the front seat was comfortable where it was? Yeah, the, the, the front seat's great. The back seat, you have plenty of room here. Again, I'm 5'9". I can cross my legs in the back of my life. Um, nice. And one of my favorite things about this model is that you have these really, really great sunshades um, for that extra sense of privacy in the back. Um, also, you know, shades a little bit as well. Um, That's cool. Yeah, really comfortable back here. Yeah, and what about the doors? This one, I think, does have the soft close, if I remember. Yeah. And it'll just self-seal. What about that front one? Let's see that too. I guess it's great if someone's sleeping in the back, you need to jump out on a road trip or something like that. It just self-seals. Cool. Yeah. Well, great. Thanks for your time, Trish. Of course. Thanks a lot, Scott. Bye, guys. See ya. Okay, guys. Let me show you the rear bumper here. This is part of the M Sport package. So this is redesigned. Or excuse me. Yeah, the whole car is kind of redesigned for 2015. But this is the new style for the um, M Sport package. So... Great job with the with the uh, gray diffuser, splitting the paint up there with the lower piece. Just a nice touch. Now let's show you the inside of the back. Got a hard shell, security shell here, so it's less air to cool off when it's hot out, or definitely no one can see in the back. You can see you've got the 40-20-40 split, or excuse me, 40-20-40 split seat. That way you can drop the center and stack stuff. You've also got hooks here where you can put on back, you know, do grocery bags, things like that so they don't slide around. You've also got tie downs that are removable. Extra storage underneath, it is lined in case you need to hide some Christmas gifts or whatever, emergency kits. You've also got a power source in case you need to charge something. And the button up here you can push for lock, it'll close and lock the car so you can walk away or you just got the closure there. Give you another shot here on the outside. This one's got these awesome 20 inch wheels. It is an upgrade to the M Sport package 
they do the M Sport will come standard with 19 inch. Nice wood trim. This one's got your full air conditioning in the back, heating and also heated seats. You can see you got two charging ports. You know, this day and age, you can never have enough. It's got the black headliner, comes with the M Sport package. Cup holders, in case there's two people in the back, you got your cup holders here. Easily drop down that center, so that way you can stack stuff right on through. Yeah, these seats they have in this one, guys, the multi-contour seats, amazing seats. Let me show you the sticker here. 2015 X6 X Drive 35. Here's your base price. You can see here they got the upgraded multi contour seats, the 20 way, 20 inch M wheels, cold weather package, driver's assistance, premium package, soft closed doors, rear manual side sunshades, and you've got the Harman Kardon sound system, enhanced Bluetooth with the streaming. 74,000. Hey guys, and if you guys are in the other countries, my subscribers and stuff, let me know how much these things cost in the other countries. It's always amazing how uh, it seems like they're pretty inexpensive here in the United States compared to some of the other continents. Uh, 1827 mileage, not too bad for the X drive, all wheel drive. Remember, it's 4750 uh, curb weight on this car. 21 is an average, so not too bad. Short wheelbase, fun car to drive. Final assembly. Yeah, guys, awesome job on the iDrive system here. Huge screen, resolution is awesome, very quick. 20 gigs for storing music. Also, they did a great job, cup holders. Put some bladder busters in there if you want to. <laughs> nice side paneling too, they really did a nice job just in case on long trips, rest in your leg. Great storage in the armrest also too here. You can see we put the key down there. There's your USB. And also, guys, you can run the cord up between these two doors. So they thought of that, or even out the front. So in case you want to plug in the phone and have it out, just so you can see where it is. Touch pad, touch pad controller, excuse me there. Let me give me another shot on the outside, too. Oh, one thing they did, too, guys, they put the unlock and lock out on the side doors instead of there on the center console area. So. One thing, I've been here for 15 years, so I'll jump in here to unlock the door and I'm pushing the hazard button. <laughs> totally forget they put them on the doors. There's your front wheel well rear diffuser. Helps with efficiency, also a pretty cool look. Let's give you another shot of this car. Let me get over into the driver's seat. And also with the M Sport guys, you get the shadow line exterior, what I call black chrome. So you can see in the rear windows are tinted from the factory. Give it a nice exclusive look. Let's get inside. M Sport decals. M dead pedal there for the left foot. Also these now have the digital dash. As some of you BMW enthusiasts know right now, we're in the sport mode because you see the red. There's your Sport Plus setting. Turns off some of the stability. Give it a little rev. It's pretty cool, these digital dashes now. Can't wait for these things to uh, filter down to the 3, 4, into the 5 series. But you can see there's Sport. There's your Comfort setup. Then your Eco Pro changes up the dash. Scoop back so we can show off that steering wheel. I know Trish really likes it. It's a great steering wheel. Easy to see the gauges. You got the paddle shifters, Napa leather. Also, you guys, you can open up the rear hatch and close the rear hatch from this button. You got extra storage down here. Put your sunglasses, well, maybe not your sunglasses, but extra things you might need. This one does have the heads-up display. Uh, one thing I know that Trish mentioned was about um, the speed. On the, it'll have a camera that'll read the speed on the current street that you're driving. It reads the street signs. That's in the driver's assistance plus. 
uh, system. They'll actually have a camera up here. I know this car is not equipped with the driver's assistance plus, but um, it's definitely available. And that'll come up in the heads up display. There you are looking out the rear view mirror. You can see looking over your shoulder, got plenty of windows. But man, what a fun car, guys. Definitely. I mean, you sit up high, great visibility, but this thing handles like a sports car. All right. 300 horsepower, 295 foot-pounds of torque in the six-cylinder model. Hey, guys, if you like the video, share it on your other me uh, media sources. Send it to your BMW enthusiasts. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Or, hey, if you're looking for a BMW, you know, send me an email. Thanks for watching.